Hi, welcome back. It's me, Tammy. We're going to begin this lesson with lesson number 29, Taxi. Landed in a deserted car park. We're going to read the article, and then we're going to answer this question. Does Captain Fawcett think any trip is too dangerous? The article says, Captain Fawcett has bought an unusual taxi and has begun a new service. Taxi is a short word we can say for taxi cab. The taxi is a small Swiss aeroplane called a Pilatus Porter. A Pilatus, or I should say Pilatus, are the mountains in central Switzerland. This wonderful plane can carry seven passengers. The most surprising thing about it, however, is that it can land anywhere on snow, water, or even on a plowed field. Land. Plowed. Land is, when talking about an aeroplane, land means when we come down. When we come down through the air and land on the ground. And plowed means to turn up the, the, the earth. Uh, farmers usually plow their fields before they plant. So plow means to turn up the earth in order to plant uh, seeds. Or to turn over the earth. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lonely village in the Welsh mountains. Welsh are a nation uh, of people who are associated with Wales. So we call people from Wales the Welsh. Since then, Captain Fawcett has flown passengers to many unusual places. Once he landed on the roof of a block of flats. And on another occasion, he landed in a deserted car park. Roof is the structure forming the upper part of a house or a building. It's the covering of a house or a building. And block is the area uh, that's bounded by four streets in a town or suburb. And flats are another word we use for apartment buildings. And dessert is, dessert means um, a place that's empty of people.
Captain Fawcett has just refused a strange request from a businessman. The man wanted to fly to Rock Hall, a lonely island in the Atlantic Ocean. But Captain Fawcett did not take him because the trip was too dangerous. Let's read the article again. Captain Ben Fawcett has bought an unusual taxi cab and has begun a new service. The taxi is a small Swiss aeroplane called or named after the mountains in central Switzerland. This wonderful plane can carry seven passengers. The most surprising thing about it, however, is that it can come from the air and set upon the ground anywhere on snow, water, or even a field that's been turned over, the earth has been turned over on. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lonely village in mountains in, in Wales. Since then, Captain Fawcett has flown passengers to many unusual places. Once he landed on the roof or the covering of a, a house or an apartment building, and on another occasion, he landed in a place that was empty of people, a deserted car park. Captain Fawcett has just refused a strange request from a businessman. The man wanted to fly to Rock Hall, a lonely island in the Atlantic Ocean, but Captain Fawcett did not take him because the trip was too dangerous. Does Captain Fawcett think any trip is too dangerous? Yes, Captain Fawcett does think some trips are dangerous. Let's answer some questions about what we've just read. One, has Captain Ben Fawcett bought a small Swiss airplane or has he bought an ordinary taxi? Does he use it as a taxi or not? Let's join the answers with the word and. Captain Fawcett has just bought a small airplane and he uses it as a taxi. Number two, what is it called? It's called the Pilatus Porter. Number three, how many passengers can it carry? Can it land anywhere or not? Let's join this answer with not only and but. Not only can it carry seven passengers, but it can land anywhere. Number four, has Captain Fawcett taken passengers to many strange places in his plane or not? Captain Fawcett's, Fawcett has taken his passengers to many unusual or strange places. Number five, did he refuse to fly a businessman to Rock Hall or not? He did refuse to fly a businessman to Rock Hall. Number six, was the journey too dangerous or not? Captain Fawcett thought the journey was too dangerous. Composition. It says rewrite these sentences using the correct verbs and joining words. The plane not only Excuse me, the plane flew close to the river, but also flew under a bridge. Or we can say the plane not only flew close to the river, but also flew under a bridge. Then it climbed into the air. The people on the bridge waved to the pilot, yet he did not notice them. Letter writing. It says, I am writing to someone who lives abroad, someone who does not live in the same country as I do. Which of these two headings would be correct? Now remember, when we're writing to someone abroad who does not live in the same country as we do, we write the country we're writing from. So this is the correct one because it has the country. What happened? What has happened? Let's read these sentences and pay close attention to the words in italics. I saw him in 1994. I have not seen him since 1994. I saw him three years ago. I have not seen him for three years. He stayed at this hotel last month. Have you ever stayed at this hotel? I went abroad last year. 
up till now, I have never been abroad before. Let's give the correct form of the verbs in parentheses. Captain Ben Fawcett has just bought an unusual taxi. And has begun a new service. The taxi is a small Swiss aeroplane called a Pilatus Porter. This wonderful plane can carry seven passengers. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lonely village in the Welsh mountains. Since then, Captain Fawcett flies passengers to many unusual places. Once he landed on the roof of a block of flats, and on another occasion, he landed in a deserted car park. Captain Fawcett just refused a strange request from a businessman. The man wanted to fly to Rock Hall, but Captain Fawcett did not take him. Because the trip was too dangerous. Now let's go over some words that people often confuse, like refuse and deny. Refuse. Refuse means a request or something offered. Okay, to refuse, excuse me, to refuse a request or something offered. Okay, so Captain Fawcett has just refused a strange request from a businessman. So we refuse a request or something offered, like Captain Fawcett refused a strange request from a businessman. We deny an accusation. He denied that he had stolen the money. Someone said who had, someone had accused him of stealing money and he denied it. Bring, take, and fetch are also words that people confuse. Bring, take, fetch. He did not take him. We use bring when we come from somewhere with something. So we use bring when we come from somewhere with something. For example, he brought the book with him when he came to see me. We use take when we go away from somewhere or someone. So we take something when we leave away from somewhere or someone. For example, he took the book with him when he left. We use fetch when we go somewhere and pick something up and bring it back. So when we go somewhere, pick it up and bring it back, we fetch something. For example, I asked him to go to my room and fetch my glasses. Very and two are also words that people often confuse. Very two. The trip was too dangerous. Very. We use very in things like this. I arrived very late, but I caught the train. I arrived very late, but I caught the train. We use to in sentences like this. I arrived too late and I missed the train. I arrived too late and I missed the train. 
In this exercise, we are going to choose the correct verbs in the following sentences. So sentence number one says, when you go to the kitchen, please fetch or bring me a glass of water. When you go into the kitchen, please fetch me a glass of water. Number two, the ball went over the fence and the football player asked a boy to fetch it or bring it. Excuse me, this is bring because we are taking something, excuse me, <clears throat> we are coming from somewhere with something. Here we are coming from the kitchen and bringing it back to this person. Number two, the ball went over the fence and the football player asked a boy to fetch it. Number three, when I asked him, he blank to tell me. He refused to tell me. Number four, do you deny, refuse that you have told me a lie? Do you deny that you have told me a lie? Number five, how are you? Blank, well, thank you. Very well, thank you. Multiple choice. The most remarkable thing about the Pilatus Porter is that it can be used as a taxi, it can carry seven passengers, it doesn't need a runway to land on, or it is a Swiss aeroplane. Well, the most remarkable thing about the Pilatus Porter is that it doesn't need a runway to land on. Number two, Captain Fawcett is prepared to fly passengers anywhere, flies passengers anywhere, will fly passengers anywhere except very dangerous places, or will fly passengers anywhere except Rock Hall. C, will fly passengers anywhere except very dangerous places. Number three, the taxi is a small Swiss aeroplane blank called a Pilatus Porter. The taxi is a small Swiss aeroplane which is called a Pilatus Porter. This is the most surprising thing about it. It is blank than anything. It is more surprising than anything. He flew a doctor to a Welsh village. Blank. He has flown to many unusual places. He flew a doctor to a Welsh village. Since that time, he has flown to many unusual places. Number six. He was asked, asked blank, a businessman to fly to Rock Hall and he refused. He was asked by a businessman. Number seven. The man wanted to fly to Rock Hall. He wanted the pilot to take him there. Number eight. It's an unusual taxi. It isn't very common. The plowed field is ready for sowing. It's a lonely village. It is far from anywhere. Captain Fawcett has flown passengers to many unusual spots. The car park was deserted. It was empty. Let's join these sentences together. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor. The doctor flew from Birmingham to a lonely village. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lonely village. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lonely village. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for joining me. In our next lesson, we will begin to read lesson number 30, football or polo.